Hey y'all, my name is Julie, and on Thrill Thrifter, you will find that I absolutely love to go thrift shopping, especially for home decor. I thrift shop for almost anything, though. I share all things thrift here on my channel. I love to go thrifting for my home, my family, and my friends. I am not a reseller. I thrift at a lot of Goodwills, yard sales, Facebook Marketplace, antique stores, estate sales, and so many other thrift shops. I truly believe that you can make your home beautiful on a thrifty budget. I will take you on so many thrift with me shopping trips, share my thrift hauls, and almost always share how I use my thrift finds in my home. I post every Friday and sometimes on Tuesday. Occasionally, I do thrift flips and decorating videos too. I hope that you enjoy. I hope you walk away from my channel feeling inspired to shop secondhand. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here so you don't miss out. Now let's get to thrifting in today's video. Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to head into my local Joseph House thrift store. I usually love this little thrift store, but it's really tight and cramped. So I'm going to film as much as I can and bring y'all along and enjoy. So let's go see what we can find. Okay y'all, when you first walk in this thrift store, they have a lot of like tools and light fixtures and just different little things like that so i like to look through these and just see i am looking for some things for a bedroom makeover and i'm wanting to add a new toilet paper holder to my guest bathroom just different things like that and so i'm going to stop and look through these items real quick and then we will get on to some home decor mm -hmm. Okay, so I started to get excited when I pulled this box out because I am looking for a brass toilet paper holder. I thrifted a brass um, towel holder a while back. I mean, it's been a while, but it really has some beautiful detail on it. And so I'm trying to find something to match that. And I thought that this might work, but I don't know. It looked too shiny. And I know you can put stuff on here, you know, to take the shine down and all of that. But it really didn't match the other little towel holder that I purchased a while back. So I was looking for something with a little more detail in it. And this just wasn't it. But I wanted to show y'all this clip just to show you that you can find things like this at the thrift store. Thrift stores not only carry home decor, but they carry so much more for your home. So don't think just going thrifting is for home decor. Because you can find so many things, home improvement things all kind of things at the thrift store. So definitely keep that in mind when you're looking for something before you head off to Lowe's or Home Depot, you might just check your thrift stores real quick. Okay, y'all, so I came across some of the fruit and these little pears stood out to me because they almost match the color of my kitchen. And so I thought with spring coming up and they matched my kitchen, I have some open shelving over here. I know exactly where I wanna put these. So I found a big one and a smaller one. They were 50 cents a piece. And I think that they are just so cute. I don't normally decorate with fruit at all. Like I, I, just, I just don't like to decorate with a lot of fruit. But something about these said elegant. I don't know. So not that I'm an elegant person or not that my house is elegant. But I don't know. They just, they just screamed my name on this day. So I got them. And I love them.
Okay, so the bargain of the day was definitely all of these picture frames, y'all. I love these little gold rim picture frames. These two, I'm gonna try not to get my light in there, but these two have different little patterns on them around the rim, and I love, love, love these. These were only 25 cents a piece, y'all. So I got, they're for five by seven, so they hold a five by seven picture. So I got those two, and then I believe these two are the same almost, yes. So let me show you these. Look how cute. I'm not sure if these are brass or just like some little, you know, gold plated, but they look really old and vintage. This is what the backs of them look like on these two. And then this is what the backs look like on these other two. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with these yet, but if I have it figured out by the time this video goes live, I was really hoping that I could find five. So I really need one more so that I could put a picture of my grandbabies in each one. And I wanted to do like, I don't know, a picture of them outside, like in the springtime or something. And what I might do is put a picture of Kelsey's boys together in one of the frames. And then I can put Kara's three kids in another just until I can find one. But in my guest bathroom, I'll put terracotta pots in there and a couple of the cubbies. And so I thought one of those little pictures would be cute with each one of the kids in it doing something outside while it's, you know, springtime. They love to pick me flowers and do different things like that. They come over and ride the golf cart with Elizabeth all the time and pick me little wildflowers. So I thought it'd be cute to snap a little picture of them, put it in those frames and put it in our guest bathroom by that little terracotta pot. So I don't know, I'm gonna play around with it. And if I do have it figured out by the time this video has gone up, I will definitely share a clip with y'all. Okay, y'all, I love this little brass candle holder with the stars cut out. I love stars, y'all. I think it is so cute in country cottage decor, primitive decor. I love stars. I'm not really sure why, but I do love them. I'm not sure why I put that back and didn't purchase it. I don't know if it was the $2.99 price throwing me off, which I don't feel like is bad for a solid brass piece. But anyway, I did put that back. And now I wish I would have got it. Y'all ever do that when you go to the thrift store? You're like, really? Why didn't I get that? And you try to go back and it's gone. So anyway, let's move along. Keep thrifting. See what else we can find. Okay, y'all, and I come across this cute little tea kettle right here. I thought that this would have been perfect since I just thrifted those little pears, but y'all, I just didn't want to pay $9.99 on this day. It's very cute. I love the little strawberries, but I want to say that I've even seen this type of kettle in some antique booths for not even $9.99. What do y'all think? Do y'all know anything about this little tea kettle here? It's super cute, isn't it?
Okay, y'all, so with spring coming up, I could not resist these little long-haired bunnies, y'all. Look how adorable these are. I cannot stand it. Now, I'm not gonna leave them this color. I am gonna spray paint them, but they did not have any chips. Um, the ears usually are always chipped when you find really cute pieces like this, but the ears on either one are not chipped. So I was excited to find these beautiful little bunnies. And I like that one is laying down and one's up a little bit higher. And I can't wait to spray paint these and put them into my spring decor. They were only $2.99. We'll see if these red tags will focus for y'all. Sometimes they don't like to. But yeah, $2.99. So I thought that these little bunnies were just too precious to leave. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to take, as cute as these little bunnies are, I'm going to paint them. And I have a picture I will show y'all here in just a minute over on my shelving. And it has the cutest little brown rabbits. So I want to try to paint these to look kind of like that. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I got two different kinds of paint. I got this one. It's called Country Twill Beige. Um, it's in matte. And then I got this one in linen. And the only difference is, I'll show you, like one's a little bit darker than the other one. Okay, so you can kind of tell. The only difference is that one is a little bit lighter. So I'm going to try to put this one like on their, on his, um, on the little front of him right here. And maybe like right here. And a few, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but that was my thought behind getting these. So I'm going to paint all over with this one and then try to come in with a little bit of this one. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, y'all, I'm trying to show y'all. Look how do y'all hear my rooster in the background growing? Um, he's acting up. But look how like textured these are. So I'm just really kind of pushing the paint in here to kind of get it. Okay. Just to really trying to get it in all those little cracks and crevices. But y'all, these are going to be so cute when I get finished. Okay, y'all, so here they are all painted with the first coat. And what I'm finding is that this paint is kind of soaking in. I, this was like... Um, Kind of like a, I guess it's called porous. I, I think that's what I'm trying to say. So like it's kind of soaking it up. So every now and then like some blue spots are popping up and I'm having to go in and touch those up. But I think, I think it turned out so cute. Look y'all. Now I'm going to let this dry and then touch up any little spots that I see that have kind of come through, you know, the blue. And I did go ahead. I was trying not to paint their little eyes, but... On the picture that I have, let me show y'all the picture real okay, quick. Okay, so I don't know, some of you might remember, I thrifted this at Goodwill over the winter sometime, and I put it up in storage for the spring. And so this is why I shop all seasons all year. So this is what I'm trying to do. See how like his little chest and around his eyes and inside of the ears and the around the nose and the little tail. I'm going to try to do those spots lighter also. And then I'm going to do black for their eyes, I think. Um, that's why I went ahead and painted the inside of their eyes, just the brown, and I'll go over it with some black. But y'all, they're so cute. So I'm trying to make mine look kind of similar to this. Yeah, once it dries, and if I need to do any touching up over some more blue, but then I'm gonna go in with this, this lighter color here. I'm gonna go over the little areas like, I don't know, like their little belly, around their whiskers, I don't know. So. We'll see how it turns out because right now they're just looking like chocolate milk. <laughs> like one of those Easter bunnies you get at Walmart that's all chocolate and you want to just eat it. So they need a little bit of a contrasting color going on. Um, so anyway, but they're super cute. Okay, y'all. Since it has dried, they look so cute. Like I feel like they look so much better once they're dry. Um, so now I'm going to go in with that lighter color and try to just put it in some different spots and see if they look good and then color their little eyes too. Okay y'all, so here goes nothing. I've got the lighter color. I'm take a little bit of this lighter color now and I'm gonna test out 
like inside the ear. <laughs> Let's start small. We can correct that really easy and just see. Okay, y'all, that is going to wrap up today's thrift shopping trip. Thank y'all so much for coming along and going thrifting with me today. I did want to share with y'all that we are not finished yet in this thrift store. So if you come back on Tuesday, we're going to finish thrifting through this thrift store. I'm going to share my thrift haul with you and show you how I styled the rest of my finds in my home. So many of you seem to enjoy me putting a video up on Friday and Tuesday last week. So I've decided to do it again this week and we'll see how it goes. But anyway, you guys, we hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend. We love y'all and we will see you back here on Tuesday with a brand new video.